Hello drone lovers, my name is KM, welcome to my channel. Today is about diatone tree. Well, you can see that the diatone tree that I have wrapped up the tattoo battery, uh, R line 750mAh95C4S in this foam to protect it. Okay, this foam weighs about 2 grams. Um, now I'm going to weigh the whole quad. Okay, the whole quad weighs 243 grams. Okay, the purpose today is to put in this run cam camera split mini 3 or mini 2 onto the uh, uh, diatone 3. Well, if you're interested to see if I make it to less than 250 grams and able to fly this uh, without uh, registration, then you can continue to uh, this video and watch to the end. Well, uh, right now I will just uh, come back later on and uh, once I finish installing the camera and you can see what the weight is. Okay, I have removed the uh, cover for the uh, diatone and removed the um, um, Cadex Rattel camera which is going to be replaced by this. So basically this Rattel camera will be replaced entirely by the Runcam Split Mini 2 system which includes the board and the SD card. So let's weigh the difference. Taking note that the total weight of the quad is 243. Okay, okay let's uh, reset it. Okay. The Rattel weighs 9 grams. Can you see it? The Runcam Split Mini 2 weighs 13 grams. So it's another 4 grams. Or 5 grams, 14 grams. So if I take 2, 4, 3, if I plus 5, I should be at the 2, 4, 8. But then I have to uh, use the longer screws. I have to have a standoff. Okay, which means uh, additional weights. Okay, because I'm going to add, I'm going to raise the canopy by another 6mm higher to give it some space to put the extra board. I use this uh, standoff here which raise it about 6mm. So the weight of this and I have to also increase the screw height. Remove this one 18mm long with the, and put in the 25mm uh, screw. Okay, So that constitutes to an additional of about 6mm of the screw length which is roughly equates to this uh, screw's uh, length, okay? So I'm going to put four of these and four of these on the scale and that's even less than zero. So it doesn't matter if I put it at one more, sorry. If I were to um, calibrate the scale, calibrate the scale, Run cam in here. I'm gonna pour this here. Okay. 15. So the most is six six grams heavier than a Cadex Rattel. So that brings it to two nine two hundred and forty nine grams, which is just below the two hundred and fifty gram limit. Okay, 
I have completed installing the Runcam Split Mini onto the Diatone 3. You see I have to raise the uh, height slightly by putting some stand off here, right? Stand off here. You have to raise the canopy just about 5 or 6 millimeters higher and everything fits fine. Okay. Now the crucial thing is, will it weigh below 250 grams? Now the next thing I need to do is to uh, put a smoke stopper and see if I can power it up without any issues. First time powering it up using the R-Line uh, Tattoo battery. Okay, the foam itself weighs 3 grams. So I'll put the battery in the foam and this is my takeoff weight. Total takeoff weight without the lens cap. Okay. So let's see how heavy this quad is. Okay. Let's put it here. 248 grams. So still below 250. Okay. And now. I want to test the power on just to see if I have any problems. I'm using a smoke stopper. Okay, I'll move my goggles aside first. Okay, ensure it's off. Voila, plug one side to the battery and the other side to the quad. Okay, just short on just to see. If the light turns on, I will switch it off quickly. Good. No lights. Okay, receiver is waiting for the transmitter to turn on. So now my transmitter itself, I not powered up yet. Let me select the model for my transmitter. Plug in my R9 to make sure it's on. And then power it up. Paranis. Welcome to Open TX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Okay, select the model. Currently it's already selected ready. Now let's power on again, see whether it green light turns on. Yep, it's bounded. Okay, so now Another thing is to check is the goggles. Let's power it on. Telemetry lost. Okay, it's recording. Let's turn on and see if I can see anything. Telemetry recovered. Yep, I see beta flight camera and I see my hand. Okay. Only thing is my OSD seems to be off the screen, which I have to check. Could be I have set it to the wrong uh, mode. Could be in PAL instead of NTSC. Okay, I find the problem. Well, okay, you can see in beta flight. Okay, let me see. Let's connect to the quad. Plug it out. Plug it back. I need to standardize to PAL because if NTSC, if I use NTSC, the screen is smaller and I have to reconfigure all my OSD pictures again. So what I need to do is in under here, I have to set to PAL, which is what I did, save it, disconnect it. And then in my run cam, I'm going to record it now. Okay, in recording mode now, I'm pressing the record button. Okay, it's recording. Okay, I'm going to power up the quad. Okay, run cam, there's a back button and a front button. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is to stop recording because the recording for the run cam is automatically start. So I press the back button once to stop it. And once it's stopped, I can hold the back button down for 3 seconds. And I see the menu. Okay. okay. Then when I press the front button, 
once, short press until I see the highlights. I go to PV out and press the back button once. Okay, and I see 16 by 9. I will stick to 16 by 9. I press the front button once again to TV mode. And just now it was on NTSC. And actually you can switch by pressing the back button to toggle it between PAL and NTSC. Okay, once I set to PAL, I hold the back button uh, for 3 seconds to get out of this mode. And I hold the back button 3 seconds again to get out of the setting mode. Okay, that's it. So now it is set to PAL. So now you can see all the OSDs are there. Okay, I power down. Power up again. Okay, it's working. So now I'm going to turn on the transmitter. Okay, before that, let me connect the battery directly first. Okay, I don't need the smoke stopper now because I'm sure it will work now. So I'm going to power it up directly. I'm going to remove this cable from my phone. I'm going to power it up. Power up my Tyranis as well. Welcome to Open TX. Okay. Right. So now Tyranis is on. Okay, let me move the scale away. Tyranis is on. Quad is on. And we're just going to do a hover test. Okay. So we're going to power uh, arm the quad. Okay. Yep, it's arm. I'm going to. Zero, volt. Zero, volt. Good. Turn on the air mode. M is stronger. Okay. Just a check. Okay, all the controls are working. Okay, good. So now I can record in HD. You can see the uh, OSD is showing the status the summary screen um, of that I have of which I have that I have set earlier on okay so if you're interested in the flight you can continue on looking at the video to see the flight video for the HD uh, version
it anyway thanks for watching i uh, hope that you enjoy this video give me a thumbs up if you do and also i hope that you can also subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so that you can receive future videos as well all right take care and, and keep safe